president of the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, Mzwanele Nyonso, says that the sacrifice of those who died during the apartheid years have all been in vain. He also says that much of what struggle heroes and South Africans fought for during the draconian era has not been achieved. And he lamented the governing ANC over what he says is its failure to eradicate poverty and unemployment. The PAC president was speaking at the party's commemoration of the Shabville massacre in Fer Ienging in the Val. As long as the ANC is in charge, they have died in vain. Because it's been 30 years since, or 28 years, in the so-called new dispensation. But, but, but what they died for has not yet been achieved. So it means as long as this government is still in power, they have died in vain. Because nobody is going to recognize them and acknowledge their role. Talk to us a little bit more about politics then and now. Just juxtapose uh, those kind of thoughts or maybe just in terms of how politics was then and now. Looking at you know, what the role of politics should be in, in South Africa. In fact, politics was, politics was decent at the time. Politics had uh, discipline. Politics had a meaning. And everybody knew that the goal was to liberate this country. But now, politics is about food. It's about money. It's about enriching ourselves. It's about tenders. It's about lies. It's about uh, what is we see every day in Parliament. So politics today can't really be compared with politics of the time, as long as this government is still in charge. They, they are going to be the same once the right-thinking political parties are in charge of this country. Yesterday we saw you joining the march, the national shutdown with the EFF. Um, and if you, you remember, uh, during that day back then, it was a similar kind of mindset where people are against the government of the day. Yesterday, uh, is totally different or is it still the same? It's still the same. The, the shutdown was, was called by EFF and to us as PAC it talked to our sufferings. It talks to, to, to our daily sufferings, to our problems as a country, to, 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 to the problems of load shedding, to the problems of hunger, poverty, unemployment, education that is a mess and everything you can think of and therefore we feel that this government has overstayed its welcome. In fact, 2024 would be too far if this government is still in charge. I think they must just resign, step, step down and allow Africans to lead their own country. Not lead our country on behalf of white people. That's what they are doing.